I've been using N-phase microinverters for a few years here at the array at Blue Rock Station. And I was always pleased that they had about a, you know, a 25 year warranty. And for the first time here, we actually had one go bad. So I was wondering what the process would be like. So we went through it. The first thing I did is I received an email telling me that the inverter was bad. So I went online to the Enlighten system and I determined that it was in fact one of the microinverters had gone bad. So the system is pretty good about telling you that. You can click on it, it gives you a whole bunch of information about what's going on with that particular inverter. But I wanted to go out to the array and physically look at the inverter, make sure it was in fact bad. You can see that one's doing absolutely nothing while the other inverters were all beeping away there with their little green light. So that was a pretty good indication that in fact the inverter was bad. So then you go into the um, Enlighten system. There's an option right at the top of the page that says, do you want to file a claim? So you can go ahead and file that claim. And then it's going to ask you which inverter went bad. Um, and of course I didn't remember which inverter went bad because I hadn't made a note of it. It lists all of your inverters in your system. So I had to go back to the other part of the system find out which inverter it was that in fact had gone bad. So after looking it up and going back in there, you find out that, yep, okay, so make a note of which inverter it is. You can just simply record the serial number of that inverter and then go back to your claim file and you'll find the list there and you simply then just check off the item, uh, the inverter that's that's gone sour there. So after you've indicated which inverter has gone bad, then you uh, type in a little description about what happened. Um, so in this case, I say it just, it simply just stopped working. Uh, that seemed to satisfy them. After I submitted the claim, then you um, receive after a few days, you'll get an acknowledgement by email that they did in fact um, receive your claim so that was really all it took. I was a little bit surprised. I thought that there would be a whole bunch of rigmarole about looking up receipts and proving that I had bought it and all that other stuff. But nope, uh, right there in the monitoring system, you just simply click on it. Yep, I want to file a claim. Tell them which one went bad. And then they begin the voodoo that they do. So a couple of days later, I received an email. It basically said, thanks for contacting us. We're going to take a look at this and then we'll get back to you. And sure enough, a couple days later, they did get back to me with another email and they said, all right, yep, we think you got a, a claim here. So we're going to go ahead and ship you a replacement unit. So be watching for it in the mail. And a couple of days after that, it sure enough did arrive. Now I was a little bit surprised when I opened it up that in fact, it wasn't the M 215s, which are a couple generations old, I thought those would be what they would send me, just some rebuilt unit. But this was an IQ7, a much newer model, had to have the adapter cable with it in order to uh, fit into the cable that's uh, for the 215s. So time to replace that unit, you go up, turn the system off uh, at the panel, and then of course I turned off the AC disconnect, uh, just kind of as a redundant thing, uh, turning off two switches there. Don't want to have there being any connection to the grid. And of course, once the grid is turned off, then the microinverters will shut down themselves and will not be generating any power. So first I disconnected the bad microinverter using the little tool from the uh, proprietary cable. Then you disconnect from the panel. Then I remove that microinverter. This is a ground mounted system so it's pretty easy to get in there and remove it without removing the panels. Then attach the uh, cables to the new microinverter. There's only one way they can go so it's not a big problem there. There's no way to really mess it up. And then I hooked that unit back up, um, mounted it back on, and then you can see the red light starts flashing. That's an indication that uh, the grid is not being sensed. I turn the system back on about five minutes later. Sure enough, the green light, I recognized the 
inverter and it is at this point beginning to generate some power. So that was all good news. It's telling me that new microinverter is working just dandy fine at this point. So now I needed to go into the system and assign the microinverter uh, back into my grid so I could monitor it. So you go into those devices and you find the one that's bad. Well, first off, I had to tell them that I put a new one in. And it wants me to tell them what the serial number is, but I didn't have any idea where to get it. There was no sticker on the replacement. I was looking for that. Turned out uh, the serial number is on the box. So, uh, you know, I just found that through random luck. It wasn't labeled or anything. So you plug that serial number in and away you go. Now it's recognized it. Then you go in and you highlight the old um, panel, the old inverter, and retire it. Uh, it knows that that one has been authorized to be retired. So now it's been removed from the system. And now I need to go in and assign the new one. So you go up under settings, you go to the builder, the array builder portion, and then it's going to show you, okay, there's one missing. We don't have it, but there is one that's unassigned. So the new inverter is assigned there. You just simply click on that little icon and then click in the hole there and it will assign that inverter to the array so now it will start generating uh, well it will start indicating what it's generating so looking back you can see over the course of the day the bad inverter was not producing I shut down the array for a little bit as I was working on it and then now once it's all back and running the new inverter starting to produce it's not producing as much power as the others I need to check to see why I have a feeling that'll sort itself out let's hope fingers crossed so then uh, the only thing left to do is um, package up the old inverter and send it back. Uh, I assume there would be some, some indication within the packaging telling me what to do, but there wasn't. So I remembered it did indicate on one of the old emails um, that I could print out a label. So I went in there, found the link. Then uh, on that link, it tells you how to print out your label. Uh, you click in there and it will just give you a PDF of the shipping label. Print out that shipping label, put the old broken inverter in a box and ship it back to them. So it was really quite simple, quite painless. Um, it did exactly what they claimed they would do. So that was my experience. Hopefully you have the same. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at BlueRockStation.com.